Hi everybody, it's Travis from Louisville, Kentucky, Zone 6B. Come walk with me on a late April garden tour. Knockout roses are beginning to bloom. Spireas are looking good. And yes, I did get to the um, the weeping spruce that was in the middle here amongst the dog or the <laughs> knockout roses. I decided to plant it here. Oh, I thought that looked pretty good there, especially with the um, wagon wheel behind it. If you're new to my garden channel, um, we've moved here a couple, this, I guess this is our third uh, year here, our third season, and none of this landscape was in the front. It was all grass. flower bed in the middle there wasn't there and this garden bed wasn't here so what I'm doing is I do garden videos to share with anybody that might be interested and um, there's quite a few a few of us on YouTube actually so <laughs> but uh, anyway I also do it for myself kind of as a garden diary and to kind of look back on and see how far the gardens have progressed what has worked and what hasn't worked the uh, barberries have really filled out can't get over the foliage color of everything this spring. Everything's been beautiful. I like how that looks with the barberry. I think it's called crimson barberry with the spiria. Like I said in the other video, if I had it to do over, I would probably have put the spireas behind or flipped them so the spireas would be in the back and then the barberries in the front but oh well let's see a lot of transplanting going on this spring the past few weeks we've dug up the um, lamb's ear from the back And I need to get some more, but uh, we're trying to repeat it in the border here on the edge along with the uh, coral bells. <sighs> coral bells. I think this is called purple prints, maybe. I like the burgundy foliage and that sage green color together. A juga still in bloom, ground cover, the uh, blue. Autumn joy sedum always comes back beautifully in that little pom pom shape bunch. Of course, I have the limelight hydrangeas that will bloom, um, it'll be a while, probably mid-June. Those were all new when we moved here, too. A 
more knockout roses, the yellow and the um, pink. Yeah, pink. We had a pinky winky back there, hydrangea tree. Uh, I don't think it's made it. <laughs> Which that sucks because that would have been really pretty right here. Mature as a centerpiece in this corner. I know those of you that tune in to my channel every week, I know we go over the same thing. So I will move along. Uh, let me show you the Mexican sunflower. It started from seed. Transplanted today. That is the orange Mexican sunflower um, pollinator plant. Attracts bees, butterflies, hummingbirds, you name it. So if you haven't checked out the last video or the latest video, what I'm trying to do here is do the orange, the tall orange Mexican sunflower in the center, like we had last year. And then I want to do the ring of blue, um, I think these are called crazy blue. Russian sage. If you know me, you know I like the orange, orange, blue, burgundy. So that's kind of the theme. The neighbors finally come and mow their grass this afternoon. Looks so much better. Pink dogwood tree still has blooms on it. So pretty when the rain falls on it and it weeps over. Candy tough past its prime. Let's see. Uh, I won't bore you with this stuff. Um, this is the Wajilia, though, that we moved from the back, hoping that it would get more sun here. So far, it looks good. I love the burgundy foliage, and it also gets a fuchsia flower on it. I'll still be doing the Victoria Salvia, blue Victoria Salvia, and the uh, marigolds. So that'll be giving me the orange and blue. Just a couple more weeks, and I will be planting those. Oh, here's a new bloom for you guys catmint. I think this one's called Walker's Low. We've got the cat mint throughout the garden here. Look how gorgeous this barberry is. Can't beat that burgundy color. And they look good in your flower gardens, too. White dogwood.
All right. Hopefully I'm not boring you guys. Clematis that we move that needs to grow on the trellis and not the ground. Peony. I think that one is the yellow and white one. That's Clematis. Look at those blooms. Or buds, I should say. That's going to be nice. Okay, so. Um, this past week, we've put the tulips around our potager garden as a border. And they are still blooming. Do you guys say potager, potager, or potage? <laughs> Squash is in here. Went ahead and planted that. Started from inside. In the center here will be cucumbers. There's a couple that I planted. That I started. I'll probably buy a few more. Um, sage. This is kind of the herb section. We got cilantro down there. Oregano. Rosemary. I planted um, dill in here. don't know how to use it in food or whatever, but I like the flower on it. Chives. I planted chives in the um, planters. And green beans. Let's see how they're doing. Green beans look good. I'll grow up this trellis. I believe that's all. Oh, let me show you. Hold on. Let me show you guys the uh, butterfly weed that I grew from seed. Um, I went ahead and took it out of the little seed trays and put it in here. We should be good as far as frost goes. Sorry about that. This is the butterfly weed. Orange. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve plants of that. And I went ahead and put our hardy hibiscus plants. We started from seed from our own plants. If that makes sense. All right. I said I was going to focus on new bloom, new blooms this week, but I've been blabbing. Hollyhocks. I started indoors. I planted a few. Check out the ones from last year. They look nice and healthy. Hopefully they bloom for us. Let's see. I think I planted some sunflowers back in here. I believe that's all as of right now. Still that Ajuga ground cover blooming. I'm starting lupin from seed today and that'll be going in this little area here 
it likes part sun. All right, I'm gonna try to shut up and just record. <laughs> Creeping Buttercup taking over the um, spider wart. If you guys remember in a couple of videos ago, this whole area in here was taken over by it. It's pretty when it's in bloom, but it's aggressive and it'll take over. Here's another piece I need to get out. In it, in a minute, I'll show you where I transplanted all that. Here, here it is in the um, in bloom. So it'll be covered in those little yellow flowers. Kind of a woodland perennial. If you ever get it, just put it somewhere where you don't mind it taking over. And check out the irises. This is the best my irises have ever looked. I'm super excited about these. I think I counted on 35 blooms I'm going to get. Maybe more. But they look so good this year. Anybody know what those bugs are? I'm gonna have to look that up. Because they are all over. All over them. Sorry, going out of focus. Baptisia coming up. I just look at all of them. I think I'm going to have to put some powder on these guys or something. That doesn't look good. If my camera would focus. <laughs> yellow one. I don't even remember having a yellow one. I just now noticed all these on here. Lots of purple ones. Right, not much going on over here. I did transplant a rose, which doesn't look its best, but It'll make it. Another bloom. I can never remember the name of it, but yeah, that flower I can't remember, it's in bloom. Also got um, Siberian irises in here. So very rustic, very cottagey. That's the look. Blue spruce putting on new growth.
there's an allium getting ready to pop. Variegated ajuga. Look how healthy this um, hollyhock is from last year. This was grown inside under the grow lights. One year's growth. Peony in here. Bleeding heart. It's not as vivid on camera as it is in person. Okay, new blooms. Okay, Coreopsis. Coreopsis is beginning to bloom. That'll bloom into the fall, and then in the fall, the purple of the aster will um, they'll look good together is what I'm trying to say <laughs> let's see more hollyhocks and here's where I planted the um Creeping Buttercup. All through here. Shade Garden. Hello, Ladybug. Variegated Solomon Seal. It's got its bloom on. Probably next week, the uh, Columbine will be blooming. This is purple. A still be. Nice uh, burgundy color. This area is a work in progress. Um, just recently transplanted the roses. Got quite a few in here. White rose back there I want to try to grow on the arbor. Garlic update. <laughs> Ignore the plastic. I forgot to clean that up. A couple weeks or so, I'll fill these raised beds and be planting tomatoes. But yeah, we put the some gates up, some fencing, and chicken wire to keep the dogs out. <laughs> Check out how nice this peony 
is doing. This is just its second year here. Nice blooms. Buds, I should say. You can always find ants on the buds. It's gonna be pretty. Wildflower mix. Here is the green version of the Barberry. I forget its real name, but it's lime green. And a, um, oh, Nine Bark, Little Devil, Purple Foil, or um, Burgundy Foliage. Looks nice against the white fence. And more wildflower. This area is a work in progress. <laughs> Fresh canvas. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this area. It's almost full shade. It pretty much is full shade. So I will have to find some shade perennials. A little bit at a time. I think we've come a long way. Like I said, none of this was back here. None of the flower beds. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't think anything new is blooming back here. This post fell. I'm gonna put it up and put a birdhouse on it. Garden bush. Ideally, I would like for this to be a butterfly garden with the sitting area in the middle. But I just don't think I'm going to have enough sunlight for that. another Mexican sunflower in here and I planted the uh, facilia lacy facilia seedlings in here there's one another uh, pollinator Joe pie coming up along with gladiuses. Alright guys, we're going to end this video here. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Everybody stay safe and healthy. And happy gardening.